Let's talk about some of the, the small wares and equipment that we see here and supplies that we need to have. Sure, so when we're working with bacon, we use a lot of bowls and it's good to have bowls of different sizes, especially for your mise en place because we have so many different ingredients and measurement is pretty important in baking. It's important that we measure everything out ahead of time so that we don't forget something. You wouldn't wanna put a cake in the oven without your ingredient that rises it like a baking powder or baking right. soda. So it's important to have the right bowls and things like that ahead of time to measure it out. We also have a couple different measuring tools. So there are liquid measures, which you see the clear plastic cup, that's a liquid measure. And that's what we would measure milk or oil or things like that. The metal uh, measuring cups are used for dry items like flour, sugar, teaspoons and tablespoons, same idea. Um, we also have some different pans. We're gonna be doing a rice pudding where you are going to mm. be using a burner and you wanna have the right pan for that. Um, cake pans, a lot of the time, all these um, recipes we're gonna be doing, you can use just a sheet tray, a nice cake pan, but we will do some things with muffins. And muffin tins come in a variety of sizes and right. shapes. Anything works that you have that you can use depending on what your portion control looks like. Um, we also have a variety of hand tools. We might use a mixer. They come with a whisk and a beater. When we're doing it by hand, we ha have a whisk or a spatula, which is essentially a beater. Right. Um, and so we have those tools readily available to us. And one of the most important you'll see also is the parchment paper. And um, also just mimic there with the muffin paper liners. Those are gonna make your cleanup, your setup, everything much faster and easier for you. And it's highly recommended to use these products. Um, it also helps manage just um, hand contact with the baked goods um, when they're already out of the oven. You know, one of the tips that we would give you right now also is to understand that, you know, when we look at a process, we look at it from the moment you start setting up your station to the moment you're done cleaning up. So it's not just the production of making a product, it's set up and clean up. And so to that point, sometimes an electric or a countertop mixer, you know, might be too cumbersome because uh, you have to set them up, break them down, clean them up. Whereas a stainless steel bowl, a lot of things you can do straight in a bowl, super easy cleanup very fast setup and breakdown, and so it makes the process that much faster. And we will show which uh, recipes work better for that and which ones work better with the machine. Many of the things you've heard us talk about in our videos is cross-utilization of ingredients. So the things that you see here can be used in other dishes, like savory dishes or in salads and things like that. So a lot of these dry fruits and nuts are great in salads. Um, and so keep in mind that you can cross-utilize these products the whole idea is to get your inventory level to a point where you can easily manage it and you have enough items in your pantry where you have a great diversity of recipes that you can execute from that. Uh, we don't wanna just keep building our inventories up. We wanna manage them properly and cross utilize. So that would be a very good tip that I would leave with you on this section of this lesson.